Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Um, I am going to sit here and just try and save this poor, this god awful poor deck. <laughs> Um, so I ordered the Druid Craft Tarot off of eBay because I really, really wanted a copy of it. I'm totally into reading with decks that are not Rider weight. I really feel like I'm finally like expanding my horizons to different decks. Um, and I want something different. I want you know, to be able to find a tarot deck that I just fall in love with. And I always hear people talk so positively about the Druid Craft. So, it came in the mail for me today. I opened it and I didn't even have to smell it. I just saw the look of it and I was like, something's not right. <laughs> the energy fell off. I haven't even cleansed the cards. Um, and I just feel like this deck really needs some love. It needs a major um <laughs> like what's the word it needs major um cleansing and so it smells like cigarettes and that is just the bummer about it it stinks it's not like a strong smell i think the book which i have in a ziploc baggie with more um baking powder baking soda powder whatever you call it um <laughs> the book smells worse than the cards thank god um, but the cards themselves were very stinky. And so what I did was I got one of my old Tupperwares and I, I poured like a layer of baking soda on the bottom and I just started piling some of the cards. I poured some more, piled the cards, poured some more, and they're all in here. They've been sitting in here for a few hours now. Um, I did this around, I think it was like around three o'clock this afternoon. Um, and so they've been sitting for a good maybe four or five hours and I'm just gonna give them a nice little <laughs> some TLC because they definitely need it that's for sure um, but I thought since I'm gonna be doing this I would just do a little video um, about it and have you guys join the journey with me <laughs> so I have here um, some lavender spray. I'm going to be spraying the cards, but I, I need to wipe them down because they have the baking soda on them. So I have some wipes here. Um, as you guys know, I am not one of those people that freaks out over um, dirty cards or old cards. I actually prefer my cards to be used, so I am not afraid to do this at all. <laughs> at all and if anything they probably need a good a good wipe because they are so stinky um honestly i can't even smell it so let's hope that that's a good sign so anyways while i'm wiping my cards down um let's talk let's talk about you know life what's been going on you guys what's new <laughs> um I have been working at my new job for two months now, and I'm actually really liking it. It's only part-time, so that's cool. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I actually get along. I'm getting along with my, cus my customers, with my clients. My clients, oh my God, <laughs> with my coworkers. Um, so the fact that my day job is actually turning out to be positive, a positive experience, um, it really helps for everything else. I've been going through a lot with the private life and family. Um, you know, I've, we've had a couple of losses. I went to three funerals um, in January. So that was crazy. It's like one funeral is enough, but to go to three of them, <laughs> that's a bit much. So there was a lot going on. Um, and yeah. I've been emailing with a couple tarot readers, like email pen pals. Um, so that's kind of cool. I've been getting to know them on a different level. There's nothing like opening your email when you're at work and you're bored um, to find, you know, that you have an email and it's not like an ad or it's not a, it's not, you know, something you, you just instantly delete. You don't even look at it. It's actually a legit email. It's a letter. 
So I love that. So I've been email pen pals with two people and we just talk about our life. We talk about our tarot journeys and what we are, what, what's, you know, with what's new, what's going on. And it's really nice. I, I really needed that because I was going through a moment where I was feeling super lonely. <laughs> what was me? Um, it, had, it also had to do with PMS, but I really miss having friends, you guys. This is going to sound so like Cancer Moon, but I am so lonely for friends sometimes. Sometimes I enjoy, like right now I'm home alone. So right now I'm enjoying this quiet time that I have, you know, and I have the dogs and it's just me and the dogs and Luna. Um, but there's times where I miss having that like girlfriend chit chat, you know, some girls to talk to because my husband can only take so much of what I have to say. Um, sometimes even, you know, we get tired of each other and <laughs> he goes out with his friends and I, I stay home because I don't have friends or I have like, I have a couple friends, but they all live in San Francisco. Um, or they are going to school and working. So they're busy. Um, I've kind of lost touch with other friends that I have, you know, so that kind of sucks. But people have lives, you know, people are starting new relationships or they have school or they work full time. So they have more stuff going on in their lives than I do. So I feel, you know, sometimes I get lonely. And um, so I was feeling like that. And then I, I decided, you know what, I think I should start that whole email pen pal type thing because the letters take forever, you know, <laughs> the mailman takes forever to deliver our mail. So it's like, I don't want to wait days for a response. So I reached out and um, I've been emailing with two tarot readers. So it's really cool because we have a lot in common. And that's the thing I need. I need friendships where I have more in common with people. Because my friends of friends or like my, my husband's friends who are my friends too. Um, I don't have much in common with them except for... You know, we are both friends with my husband. And and that kind of sucks for me because my interests are very different from um, my husband's interests. And so it just sometimes I just need to have someone to talk witchy stuff with or someone to talk tarot with, you know. Which is another reason why I feel um, I'm so happy that I even, even though it sucked, like I was crying a lot that night. I was super lonely. I created the Talk Tarot With Me Facebook group because of that night. And I was like, you know what? If I can't make in-person friendships, I'm going to do and make the most with my online friendships. And the thing with this is I have a lot of clients that I talk to. Um, I have a lot of clients that I have, you know, I have their number. They have my number so they can text me when they want a reading or... Um, they email me when they have questions, but I don't want to get into a friendship relationship with some clients or all of my clients. Um, I feel like I have to keep that professional boundary with them. So to have someone that is still into what I'm into, but we're not technically each other's clients, it's nice. Um, it's nice to be able to open up to somebody who just freaking understands what I'm going through. <laughs> Um, and we can talk about cards and we could talk about crystals and talk about, you know, all this shit that I love that regular people don't understand because they don't like that kind of stuff. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. And the Facebook group is doing really well there's 81 members in the group everybody you know comments makes posts we just talk it's so nice it's so nice so I'm really happy with that I started doing live sessions on Instagram because of it um, because I figured you know what if I can't make my own friends in person I need to make the most of the people I do have online there's nothing wrong with online relationships and friendships like that there's absolutely nothing wrong um, in fact, I'm sometimes I feel like I'm so much closer with my online friends than with people I'm friends with in real life. So it just it's nice. It's nice how it works. 
but um but yeah <laughs> and then what else is going on with me um I haven't decided like I keep going back and forth so I have a tumblr account again um I deleted like back in August I don't know I think it was like in the summer I deleted because it was so toxic you guys it's so freaking toxic on there and I don't know why I went back um it's like you know like you know when someone is not good for you but you still go back to them because you just it's they just feel familiar I think that's what happened is like there even though there were so many toxic people who were freaking two-faced um I still go back because I enjoy the community with the certain people that actually matter you know like there's still a nice community of people on tumblr in the tarot community that make it worthwhile to go back and some of those are the ones that I message you know outside of tumblr but I don't know I keep going back and forth um I feel like there's certain people that are purposely ignoring me on tumblr because they are misinformed about me um there was like a lot of jealousy that was happening last year and for the last three years i would say um i, I feel like people get jealous of they were jealous of me because i had a lot of um i just had a lot of people talking to me they would comment on my posts I had a lot of clients that I was making I was making a lot of online sales through people I met on um on tumblr and you know it's like you're always going to have someone who's just not going to be happy for you they're going to be salty because they're not getting what you get you know that it's everywhere that happens everywhere but it was getting to the point where it was like there was just people that were trying to look for every little fault in me. And I felt like I was under everyone's microscope. First, they were all waiting for me to fuck up. They were waiting for me to say something that was offensive or to say something that they didn't agree with so that they could throw me to the wolves. Um, and I feel like they wanted me out of the community on Tumblr because, um, you know, I was popular or whatever and it's like really <laughs> really um whether I was popular or not I don't care I don't care about that kind of stuff I cared about the fact that I worked really really hard to build my blog my tumblr blog to build my name and my reputation and I deserved those clients and I deserved those comments and those friendships that I made of all of those years that I was, you know, on Tumblr. And so it was, it pissed me off. It really pissed me off because I felt like I couldn't talk about whatever I wanted to talk about on my own freaking blog because people were so offended by the dumbest stuff, the dumbest stuff, you guys. One of the dumbest things that they were um, so offended about was because I would talk about my menstrual cycle and my being on my period and I would talk about it on my blog on my friggin blog you guys <laughs> and I'm like I'm sorry uh then if you don't like it then don't look at it you know it's my blog I should be able to talk about my freaking period if I want to you know people are just so they're so nitpicky so I don't know and you know and I really felt like it just got to the point where they were just waiting for me to say something that they could you know blame me for for being this and that and and, and they really painted a negative picture on me and they really tried to ruin my reputation and I do feel like still to this day there are people on there still on tumblr that don't know really what happened like they are misinformed they think they they dislike me for reasons that are just not even true and for the most stupidest things so i don't know i am not a perfect human being and i don't try to be perfect but i do get pissed off when i feel like i am not allowed to express myself um 
on my own personal blog, you know, it's, it's one thing if I'm doing it on like, you know, I'm commenting on someone else's post or whatever, but it's my own blog. It's, it's my own blog. So if I want to talk about my period or if I want to, you know, post my testimonials that are positive, I'm going to do it. But anyway, so that's why I was like back and forth about, um, about Tumblr now because I'm like, do I do what should I go back to that? Is it worth it? And you know, I've been back on Tumblr for a couple months. I've been very like on and off with it. I barely post. Um, but when I do, I notice like, it's like I'm being ignored, you know, no one really communicates with me. So, or they, they either have me blocked or they just choose not to communicate with me. And I felt awkward going back on there because I was like, what if I friend someone who hates me and I don't even know if they hate me? That was That's the part that sucks the most is that I don't even know who does like me and who doesn't. And so, I don't know. The more I think about it, like the more I'm talking about it now, the more I'm like, I shouldn't even bother. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. But all I know is my the community that I have branched in with in Instagram and now more so on Facebook too. Um, <clears throat> I've met some amazing people and I feel like the era of my Tumblr experience is, um, it's like the ending of that chapter, you know? And I'm moving on to bigger, better things. So maybe it's meant to be. <laughs> so anyways, I just wiped off the cards I'm afraid to smell them because I swear I, I cannot stand cigarette smell like I'm sorry to any of you guys who who smoke um, and you read tarot I'm sorry if I offend you but I purposely I per me personally I used to smoke I was a smoker um, more of a recreational smoker like a social smoker but I did smoke um, for two years and I quit when I met my husband because he was like that is a deal breaker for me. It's either the cigarettes or, or me. And so I stopped because I just knew he was, there was something about him that was like worth it. Thank God I stopped because he is worth it. Um, but when I was smoking, I didn't think I smelled, you know, and <laughs> granted I wasn't smoking like every day. It was, you know, it'd be like once or a couple times a week or when I was out and about with friends. Um, but I didn't think I smelled. So when I smell it now, I'm like, oh. And I, I just wonder, like, did I smell like that when I was smoking? And so then I think about, like, people who read tarot and, and their cards, their decks and stuff, they it all smells like cigarette. And it's like, oh. But I guess if, if you're a smoker, you don't you don't smell yourself. You know, I guess. I guess that's, I, th I guess that's how it works. But, man, these cards, um... They were pretty stinky. <laughs> so anyways, I'm afraid to sniff them because what if they still smell? But, you know, they still have a, a faint smell. I want to say it was um, their, their Camel brand cigarettes. I could, because they remind me of my grandpa. <sighs> they still have like a smell to them, but you know what it smells more like now? Like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like it still kind of has like that smoky smell, but now more so dirt because they were sitting in the, the, what's it called? Baking soda. Okay. So this is just some spray. It's called Zoom Mist. It's aromatherapy room and body mist. It's lavender scented and I bought this at Target. So I'm going to spray the shit out of these cards and I'm just going to shuffle them because these cards need love. This is actually how I cleanse my decks, by the way. Um, I usually, I use a um, negativity banishing spray. But these guys need the mist. I, I even, when I first, when I first took them out of the, um, <laughs> of the box, I sprayed them with Febreze because fuck, they, it was pretty bad. I'm, I'm going to have to probably just leave the book in there in the bag I have it in a Ziploc bag with a bunch of baking soda um I'm just probably gonna have to leave it in there for a good couple days because that thing is gonna stink I think I'm even gonna buy um those little fabric softener thingies that you throw in the laundry and put it between some of the pages because that's what we would do at the library when people who smoked 
would turn in books that would stink, we would have to do that. So that's just a tip for any of you guys who are trying to get rid of the cigarette smell in books. Put some fabric softener wipes in between the pages. Not every page, but you know, like every, you know, 20, 30 pages or so. And spray it with Febreze and then stick it in a box or a bag so that it doesn't air, you know, it's stuck in there and just let it um, collect the scent, you know, and also air it out too. You can air out your books outside and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. Who knows how long these poor cards were sitting in the smoky house or wherever they were at. <laughs> um, all I know is I feel like this process that I'm doing with them is helping me bond with it as well as it's like I'm cleansing them. It's like I'm a, being the, a little doctor and helping my deck, you know, nursing it back to life, giving it a second chance. <laughs> so this deck is beautiful. It's huge. That's for sure. It's a big deck, but I like it. And, you know, it has the big um, chunky borders. Like it has those big white borders. But I've seen people who, who actually cut the borders off. Um, and then they say they regretted it after. And I don't know. I think I'm going to leave the borders on because it really doesn't bother me. And when you have a deck like this that's so big, you just shuffle it sideways. You can still shuffle, you know. You don't have to shuffle like the long way because unless you have big ass hands and that's different. <laughs> but this is, um, this is nice. I feel like this is helping. And then I'll probably just um, lay these out on my window sill with the window open so they can air out. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to kind of be a part of this little experience with me while I am giving my uh, my deck a new life, a breath of fresh air. But I wanted to just, you know, kind of have a little ramble with you because it's been a while since I've done that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being a part of this with me. And I'll have to give you an update later on if the cards don't stink anymore. But actually, while I'm filming, maybe I should do, do a reading for myself because, um, like I've said before, any deck that I get, I have to read for myself first before I read for anyone else. So let's do that. Let's, let's read for me. And it's gonna be like a deck interview, so I'm just gonna ask the cards to reveal to me what you want me to know, what kind of a relationship are we going to have together, and what areas are you going to be most efficient in readings. So what do you want me to know, and what ways are we going to work together, and how will you be efficient for readings for clients? What do you want me to know? <laughs> the moon. So the deck is like kind of saying, I want you to know that I am meant for you. I want to be a part of the cackling moon. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, in what ways are you going to, you know, be good for me? I think that's what I was saying. Prince of Cups. Lots of connection. This this looks like to me with the cup suit. This is going to be a really good connection. Um from the heart you're gonna you're gonna read me to filth but it's gonna be in a loving way <laughs> and then how um, will you be beneficial to others to my clients in what way the five of cups the healing path the path to forgiveness the path to moving on you're definitely I think this is gonna be a beautiful relationship what's the card on the bottom five of Pentacles I think this is gonna be a really really good relationship I feel like I feel like this deck is going to be a healing deck. It's going to be really good for healing readings. It's going to be really good for healing relationship type readings. Um, I also feel like it's saying thank you. <laughs> thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for getting the stinky, stinky off of me. Um, 
I'm, I'm excited. So, yay, that's really cool. And I love that the moon was like the card for me that it came up with. So I love that. It's like saying I want to be part of the cackling moon. <laughs> so if you guys are wondering, this is the Druid Craft Tarot. The card backs are brown with some gold. And the, the cards themselves are just gorgeous. I haven't even looked at all of the artwork yet, but kind of, um, I'm kind of loving it. I just need to get the stinky off. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for being a part of this little love, love se session. And um, I hope that you guys are doing well. And leave me some comments if you, you know, if you have any questions or whatnot. And I will let you guys know. I'll have to do an update later on with how the cards um, are. If they got stinky off or if they're still stinky. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.